now, man. Yeah. Come on, New Jack Full of City, man. It's going down in the major <laughs> man. This is one right you be. My favorite episode right here for so many different reasons. Hey, but, but before, yo, but I just, shout out to uh, DC Young Fly. Shout out to Carlo Miller. Shout out to Chico Bean. Shout out to uh, 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 Cat Corleone. Shout out to uh, 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 Chad. You know what I'm saying? Obray. Shout out to Ryan Fam. Shout out to uh, Smoking Joe. So uh, shout out to uh, uh, it's, it's one more. It's one more. I'm, where you, <laughs> where you shout at? Cat Corleone. Cat Corleone. Man, God damn it. I, shout Cat out Corleone. to Cat Corleone. Man, shout out to J.O.N. Oh! Man. Come on, man. That way in the hallway with the candles on. Mm. Like round with the candles on. Praise for Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, had to get it up to him. Yo, hey, shout out to the I-Team. The I-Team, uh, the, the, the I-Girls. Y'all heard of the Fly Girls. I got the I-Girls over here. Lola Cash. <laughs> shout out to uh, Eat My Candy. Shout out to Bortney. Yeah, yeah, Bortney. Her name is Courtney, but we call her Bortney because she a blood, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to Chrissy, the bartender. Come on, man. Gang, 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 gang. That way, that way. In the hallway. <laughs> We're building this uh, a new set. Man, this guy... Oh, he was just happened to be inside the building at the same time, and he was going on a whole nother show. He was going on a whole nother goddamn show. And um, I know this guy for over, like, I want to say maybe 15 years almost now, and he agreed to come to my show, and he was going to be my first guest, but, you know, things just didn't pan out that way. We didn't even have no room inside 85 South Channel, the, uh, 85, none of that yet. It didn't happen yet. It didn't even happen. We were just trying to figure it out. And he said, hey, no matter where y'all choose to do this shit, this is what we going to do with yeah, it. Yeah, You know, I'm going to be there. Yeah. Just look over your shoulders, honey. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> y'all give it up for my player partner, my homeboy. Hey, but before I bring my... I, I want... I, hey, yo, 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 baby, I want you to go ahead and say your name. Man, look, this is the wonderful, the greatest rapper to ever live. I tell him pound for pound, he can go up against any man yeah, on baby. earth. I don't care if you're a battle yeah. rapper, you're an R&B singer. If you just one of them niggas out there mumbling, you ain't got a chance. I put my money on this man. I put the house on you this man. This is your boy. <laughs> the best thing on the street, smoking young drones. Let's go! Hey, yo, bro, what's up, what? You know, what's good with you, my guy? Hey, man, yo, <laughs> did I forget anybody? <laughs> oh, no, hold on, man. man. Shout out to the, you know what I'm saying, the DJ with the most out this motherfucker, man. Shortest nigga, hands on the ones and two DJ Two Red. He can mix any goddamn thing. Shout out to the social media nigga. You know what I'm saying, uh, DJ Wizard Craig, aka I am somebody. Yeah. Shout, shout out, out to the whole staff. Come on, man. That way in the hallway. <laughs> Amazon. Shout Bro. out to the dude in the parking lot taking $20 and you ain't supposed to be. Whether it's drunk we or not. The damn building. Eat crackheads. <laughs> Yo, bro, what's man, what's up, man? Way? What's good with you? Hey, dog. Yeah. How long you been a real nigga, man? <laughs> Shit. How long you been a real nigga? Bro, because I can't believe you here, man. Hey, man, you know how we get Hey, hey, you, cause I'm going to tell you something. What's up? This is some like complete manifestation because I, I had just got finished shooting, you know, three of my shows. Uh, after the the, uh, the the first day, we actually got inside of um, you know, this room and stuff, you know, doing what we do. Yeah. And and uh, you know, all my dreams here, I'm like, yo, Dro coming. <laughs> I leave, I go to one of my favorite places in the world, Spun Mm-hmm. And when I'm even eating with my cousin, his cousin and shit and whatnot, and he was like, nigga, Dro walking up with with a with a bad chick and whatnot. <laughs> da, 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 and I think he saw you. That was my mama. I don't think that's some fucked up shit. This, this how we started off there, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 that would be funny. Man, that's what stop. You want that, Jack? Bad chick, that was my mama. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah, cause he went on by day for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I walked up, it, it seemed like I, I was like, "Damn, this nigga ain't even speaking to me." It must have been the side with the eye on it. With it. You feel me? <laughs> you hey, like, yeah. I'm standing right there. You <laughs> say that to him? I'm like, "Damn, nigga, what's that?" <laughs> he took my shit. 
And then Buddy was like, see that draw? He was like, oh shit, draw, yeah. what's up? I was like, you some bullshit, Jack. That's some bullshit, boy. <laughs> hey, I got the AU, man, that uh, uh, artificial unintelligent eye. <laughs> I, I, did, I did not know. I'm still going through my thing. Hold up, wait, wait, up. wait, wait. Did you say AU? Yeah, you mean AI? AU. You artificial just invented your own uh, uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, artificial unintelligent eye. <laughs> unintelligent. <laughs> <laughs> my eye got a material. I didn't feel you. I didn't tell you that. Man, my little boy was playing with some marble the other day. I'm like, this motherfucker going good in Jack, eh? But I, I fucked around and left it at the house, man. I left the motherfucker at the house, man. What? Stop! <laughs> Boy, you it looked like it would fit, though. I'm like, this motherfucker look like fuck. Uh, I should have taken it up. I was like, nah, he probably gonna want them. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker had a turquoise little line in it. I was like, he gonna want that one. Nah, he wanted that one. That the one he wanted. Turquoise line? Yeah, that the one he wanted. Nah, Jack. That the one he wanted. You know, he like his shit with a star or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he, but he got a Bad collection, though. Sign. He got a collection, though, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. He got a yeah. different one. <laughs> I want to do you got an eye with your face on the inside. It depends on what girl he with, he, what eye he put in. Wait, what? He got an eye with his face on it. I'm like, you just conceited. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you just been doing too much. So what that is to my me, bitch. <laughs> you doing too much. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Mm. Hey, Jack, he got you down mm. pat, Jack. <laughs> he got me down pat. <laughs> hey, hey, man, hey, dog, I, I felt horrible because, you know, even we went on, we were over here trying to figure out where we were going to do the, the second season of uh, New Jack Little City. Bro was here, and um, I didn't want him to leave because I, I got to get him to come to my show, man. And he fucked with me the whole time, <laughs> even though, you know, I was going through my thing because I, I was freshly, you know, off my eye surgery yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's going to take a minute for yeah, this shit to come yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was fucking with me and didn't even... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, treat me like a weirdo and nothing like that. G gave me a real number again. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. Were, you were saying how you was gonna design though. You know, you you, you a likeable person, you except for that time want. when you was in it with two with two chains. <laughs> you two with two chains. Like, yeah. 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 like yeah. 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 skip over I there. Like, you can be around me every day. But when you got into it with two chains, I would purposely not answer the phone. I'm gonna let you know that now. That man called up there. That man said. Man, I'm gonna do something to you. And I know Two Chain, he's like the calmest person you ever could be around. I knew him before the rap. And Jack said, Well, you're gonna have to do what you want to do. I'm like, Now, Jack, I know, I know you, Jack, now. I know you ain't like that. He ain't gonna talk to me any kind of way. I said, Boy, that boy Jack ain't backing down, boy. Good, calm down, Jack. <laughs> calm down, man. That's right. Nigga, nigga, sneak up on, nigga sneak up on you on this side. He gonna get his But this nigga done came. <laughs> Jack, I didn't catch you, Jack. Tell me how he caught you again, Jack. I, I, I he caught you when you finally ran into him. Hey, hey. <laughs> you, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Hey, I, I ain't never been cussed out like that before in my <laughs> life. He one of the coolest, coolest dudes, so I said Jack was wrong. And nigga, I, 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 I lost Atlanta fucking with you, Chan. Yeah, yeah, you were gone for I a while, I lost Atlanta Jack. like a motherfucker back but, in 2016. But you, but you made a significant turnaround, a turn of, you know, everything in your life changed and you became great and you did this is fit. You I had did, so did, much stuff did, since then. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. When I first met Jack, his name was Honey Bun. Wait. Mm. I'm, I'm about to be the stripper. The no cap. A I mean, man please. said, you know, do I introduce Jack to you? I think it was me and Tip that day. Oh, and my I God. Was like, oh, he was like, yeah. Was like, we were like, what's your name, bro? He was like, shit, Honey Bun, too. Like, I'm not calling no nigga Honey Bun. This is bullshit. He said, you're right, man. I'm going to change my name. Oh, man. <laughs> what made you he changed your name that day. He changed your name that day. He changed his name that day. Did you? What made you pick that name from the beginning? Uh, I, I was 14 years old. <laughs> and I, oh, that, that was, uh, you know, opposite of 41. What, what was your name when you were dancing? <laughs> was it Honey Bun then? Uh, it, it was Bob Wild. Bob Wild. <laughs> it, it's small, but it's country. That was my Bob motto. Wait. Mm. You used to uh, call yourself wait, Bob Wild. Wait. Yeah. I was small, but I cut you. That mm. was, I, go, I, I go with Bob Wild all, all day long, but not nah, Honey, honey Bun. Bun. Nah, Honey Bun. I knew a nigga named Honey Bun, though. Stayed in Perry Home. Honey Bun was serious <laughs> with it, though. You don't remember Honey Bun? 
From Perry Home. You know, the dry, the dry, the little Manila, Manila. Uh, I go for Moon Pie. Yeah, Moon, Moon, Moon was, Moon was hard. Moon was hard. Yeah, I go for that. Yeah, Moon, Moon and Weezy was hard. Yeah, man. Walking down, I'm like, baby, how you doing, honey bun? Well, okay, man. You talking about that mother too? I don't want to do this. This is not what I want to do. No. Oh, man. Why do that? So I would on the chat line. Y'all remember the chat line? Yeah. Yeah, that that was like, oh. What's that shit, the, 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 the room, that shit now, where everybody be on the phone? Clubhouse. 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 Yeah. Like Clubhouse. Yes. Yeah. It was like Clubhouse for the phone yes, back in the yeah. day. Yeah. Yes, it was. I used to be on I that remember too. the chat. Yeah, that's how me and my brother used to meet, meet, yeah, meet ladies yeah. and yeah. we'd go my meet them on the train. We'd go, yeah. go to the railway in Atlanta to go meet them. My mom kicked me out of her house for that phone one time. <laughs> Phone bill. The numbers that you see on TV call 199. Yeah. yeah. 999. The chat room, you go into the little room. Man, the little yeah. room. I used to be telling girl, I used to be like, what you like, what's your name? I used to be like, my name Block. See what you know, I got asthma, so I used to breathe. They used to be like, you fat? I used to be like, nah, I ain't fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, you know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, I ain't fat. Shout out to you talking about. So when you breathe more, like, bitch, I got asthma. Yeah. <laughs> and then when we meet up, they be like, damn, you fly. I'm like, yeah, 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 I told you, but you the one fat, stupid mm-hmm. bitch. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Cedric in the chamber used to have this joke about, you know, uh, he met a dude named Delicious, and he wasn't gonna call no grown-ass man Delicious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I understood either. the concept of that. And I, I need to get me, and when I start doing comedy, a name that niggas will for, uh, won't forget and everything and whatnot. And I, I just happened to be on the chat line one day, and it was a gay dude came in the room. He said, my name is Honeybun, hope your mama die by. And then hung up. <laughs> and whatnot, it started going from room to room. This made me laugh so goddamn hard every time I would. <laughs> Hold on, he's like, you, so you, took, you took the hope your mama died off and yeah, killed yeah, her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, you know what? This shit yeah. is yeah. not happening. He promoted me. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> negative. That's negative. Because that's negative. That's that's negative. negative. That right. shit sound, that's I didn't want no negative <laughs> shit. I didn't want to promote no negative shit. <laughs> so you want to promote anyone. Everything was sweet. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Sweet. about this situation like started that. to sound sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip were right, tip were right not to call you nah, honey bun. Don't do that, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, and so I, I, I knew that it would get the same effect as said joke and shit. And so I start calling into Ryan Cameron um, morning show every morning. And he, you know what I'm saying, invited me to the, the show like seven times as the gay character, Honey I always Bun. wonder how them dudes Listen, be that call the radio if, if every me morning. And you was homeboys and we went out to the club, right? <laughs> yes, sir. You fucked around and uh, we, we, you dropped me off at the house. Right. And, and then I got down, leave my wallet in the car. Then I'm at home with my girl, it's about 3, 4, 3 30 now. Yeah. So you call the house. And then she picked up the phone. You're like, hello? I'm like, what joy? I'm like, who are you? It's 3 30. <laughs> It's three. It's three thirty in the morning. Relationship. Like, relationship. A nigga like honey boy wants you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you left your wallet in the car. Relationship. Left your wallet in the car. Yeah. You paying for honey boys now. <laughs> relationship. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey, Lola. Would you? Would, you would have bought it, right? Yeah. No, no you wouldn't. You wouldn't bought me a honey bun. Would I bought you a honey bun, you, or would, would I bought a nigga call it? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Who the fuck is honey bun? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Please, yeah, don't go to, please don't go to jail. <laughs> Man, do not go to jail. You are already on the store. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> you on the store calling everything. You're like, honey bun is upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> see, we live in a day and age now. I'd be like, FaceTime that motherfucker. I need to see. Got you. It wasn't no first time. Yeah, yeah, we had yeah. made time then, so you know what I'm saying? Honey Bun wasn't believable. I don't give a fuck how you put it. And then it wasn't even, it wasn't even in style to be gay then. <laughs> it wasn't even in style to be gay then back that, then. See, that make it even worse. Yeah, I, I caught a lot of flack, uh, fought all the time in the comedy clubs and everything, and I wasn't even gay. Hey, you the reason why we got that stigma on Atlanta now. That nigga said I would fight for gay rights. You the reason why we got that stigma on Atlanta now. Oh my God, yeah, bro. You would fight for gay rights. Something is happening. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was part of the L-B-I-T-C-H community and whatnot. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that, that's what I had. But yeah, man, I, I, I was making it hard on myself. Yeah. But even on, but with Duval, at the time he was going by his real name, Roland Powell and stuff, he, he did not shun me for that. Even though it was, you know, something that was an a, a, a issue inside our friendship, he understood what I was doing. So that's why I thought it was cool for me to keep on doing. 
that that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you convinced so, so yourself. So it's an inside joke thing. That we one hundred percent. But okay, right. I almost got in. I almost got in the fights every night at Uptown Comedy Club from BMF to to uh, Jeezy to all. So all, every every two chains and Jeezy. Two chains with the first. Yeah, this is like two chains. Every Atlanta rapper you can think about wanted to kill me. The third. You start no shit now tonight. Yeah, yeah, Jack. Not been you know, I'm friends fight. with everybody now. I, well, oh, well, I'm friends you. with them. I don't know if they're friends with me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ever be a nigga friend, but he don't be your friend? Hey. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that feels. I don't, I don't know, know how that, that feels. It's over when it's over, it's over. It's, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I just don't. I don't it might, sometimes it never begins. Yeah, I, I could like you might be the only one thinking it's a friendship. One sided. Keep in mind, I, 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 that's some that. insane shit. Like that's yeah. mental health. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we're friends, like no. Reason. When you call into the radio station every day. I always wonder about them dudes too, though, Jack. I ain't gonna count, cause I listen to the radio every now and then. Then the radio man be like, it's you again. Like, I, I, I can't How do you think get of through? calling in one time they, they, as opposed they, to calling in a lot of times. They like, real now. They give you the real number yeah. to make the, make the show be uh, entertaining. Oh, so you became a part of the I show. I became a part of the show, but when you paid, I didn't realize at 14, <laughs> I was, you know what I'm saying? They was creating content back then. Creating content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You and, threw and me so, off because I am no, no grown man that called a radio station every day. Yeah, Ryan right, right Cameron that. used the shit out of me. <laughs> but he also told me that, hey, you, you should become, you, you, you're a comedian, you need to become a comedian, blah, 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 and such and such. And, when I, and then, uh, you know, three years later, I went to, went to uh, Kings of Comedy at uh, Phillips Arena and stuff. And yeah. Three weeks yeah. later, I went to Chris Tucker Comedy Club, and that's how it worked I, out. I, it yeah, worked out for yeah, you. Yeah, Good I, stuff. I, I Y'all give it up for Jack, man. Yeah, yeah. AKA Honey Bun. <laughs> I have a conversation about the don't play with you about the young lady. Don't do it. We don't talk, talk about Carly. Who Wait, yeah. faked the thing. We, we don't talk about Carly. Yeah, I, I, don't do I, that. I, I, I um How did you personally that? said a prayer. You know what I mean? Because I know how human trafficking is. Yeah. But I also know that shrooms make you, you know, <laughs> they make you see so babies on the screen. So what was the prayer about? What was the prayer about? The prayer was about... We cut from the same cloth. A young, young, young girl, girl, finish. a young AKA, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, you know, school, they got, got school and everything in there and all that, you know, and they got, you know, picked up that was trying to help a child. And mm-hmm. I was like, and I was saying to myself, whoever faked that, whoever put that child out there, for the bait. Oh, they going to hell. And I'm, I'm, I'm you praying. praying and I'm, no, I'm paying no, drugs. No, 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 listen, no, listen, I'm trying to get, I'm okay. giving you the benefit of now. I'm trying, mm. because one day, I was a long time ago, bro, I smoked some weed, right? Yeah. Okay. I was on the spreadway. He, he and I thought I saw an armadillo he in the spreadway, and I swerved. I wasn't even driving. My boy Fat was driving. I just grabbed the steering wheel, like, bro, they go an armadillo. And he was like, so I kind of felt her saying, you know, it was possible that you can see shit on the spreadway. Yeah. But drugs were involved, and I'm like, maybe this bitch was hot. Yeah. She was hot. She you know was gay. She was gay. After I found out, you know, yeah. you know that, you know, it wasn't a But when, she, when the police said, said that she won't call them, them back, I knew there was some shit going on. You know what I'm saying? We worried about the girl, but yeah. nobody yeah. wasn't worried about nobody the baby. Nobody worried about the baby. <laughs> it wasn't no baby. Nobody. Come on, the baby good, nigga, the bitch gone. Nobody saw one time and thought. That if the baby was on the highway, they got cars to cars, cars riding by. No other baby. No other baby. Nobody else seen the baby. Nobody else seen the baby. Oh, he went in there and got a good platter. That's what he did. He so nobody else seen the baby. Yeah, man, I just feel like, man, you know, that's that's Jesse part two. <laughs> and and they gonna make an example out of her because they let him off easy. They so they finna make an example out of her. Mama. She finna be the one to get the time and set an example for every other motherfucker who see a baby. That's you true. Know? So, Dro, do you think she need to be brought up charges or no? Because she's only 25 years old. I mean, well, in jail. I she's think, only 25. I think, I think, I think, that, think she's she, I think that she should get like, like the mental should be tested. Like, you know, she need a mental health check, man. They, they said they tested that, and then she's okay as no, far as that goes. Not, she's not okay. Not doing that shit like that. And then this bitch <laughs> looking up, uh, taking all on the phone. Yeah, Amber Alerts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How much it costs? Wait, wait. They said she. They said when when she was gone, she called her boyfriend, and he was like. They're gonna come and get you. No, no, no. Going to go under the bed. No, no. She was away. She unblocked. The him. boyfriend moved on. That's what the whole kidnapping was behind. The boyfriend. She was trying to get the boyfriend attention. I hate to believe she did that. But well, she did the wrong thing. She did. I really hate to believe. She did. Mm-mm. <laughs> I mean, we bitches do. <laughs> I don't think do crazy shit behind shit it. We will. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Know. I 
was more concerned about the baby. Yeah. It was never baby. I was baby. more concerned about the baby. Uh, was I was baby. more concerned was about the baby because I felt like, where is the baby? Yeah. The baby? You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, I, and I believe, I, 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 I truly believe when the, when that bitch get to heaven and she asked God to get in, he was like, don't bring your ass up here. Don't bring your ass up here. Don't bring your ass up Had them folk yeah. praying. You see, you had so many prayers coming to me and your ass right here praying. Because there's yeah. so many people out here in that in a bad situation yes. for real, bro. Middle, like Middle Hill State, man. And you, and you clogging up the line and you, you taking resources and police is away from a real crime. Yes, That's right. right. Young black women are, are picked up Ohio, all the time, they still ain't talked about that. What? While she out here talking about a baby. The 30 kids that went missing in Ohio. Right, you feel what I'm saying? People are really missing, man. I, I felt like that she should be held accountable for the decision she made to yeah. shake, but how do shake, we up, hold women to accountable? shake up America. Right? You, you lock that ass up and That's you right. put her in a mental institution until she get healthy in the mind. You feel what I'm saying? I think, yeah, I think, something wrong I think she that. needs to go and get some good help, yeah, man. Yeah, something's wrong. You, you, had people, you, had, you had OGs and stuff. Putting up money, trying to figure out, you know, yeah, how to find yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, man, y'all see Shouty, man. Anybody, you know, anybody on that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? And that ties in that what, what uh that that very situation, her playing around like that, that ties into a lot of the stuff that you have going on nowadays or whatever. Tell us about this new initiative that you have taken on, you know, to make sure these kids, you know, oh, get a better path. Well, I have a, a nonprofit called It Still Takes a Village. We're in. The, it's still doing. We're. It, we're it, I, I believe that. It still, t I, th I believe that it takes a village. Came from like back when my my grandma and them were, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. When you just get whooping, like uh, you can do something in front of uh, Mid Mid Darlene, yeah. Mid Darlene, and go take you to your mom. She can pop you, whoop you, and then take then you to take your mom. You get another ad with Oh, you know what? You know what, what we saying? got caught on the mother boys. I then. think, <laughs> yeah, I get think it, I think it was important then, and I think it's important now. But it still takes a village. Is a nonprofit that I have, man. We're in the schools, the homes, yeah. the the community. You know what I'm saying? Educating and combating senseless gun yeah, violence. I, I see you out there. I, yeah. I, I, I see you being active. Like I, I hear a lot of people talking. Mm -hmm. You know, but I see you working with the different district leaders. You know, the community leaders, and y'all yes. really putting together an initiative to make sure something happens, man. Y'all give it up for Joe, man. Yes. One hundred percent. You know what? You know what, though. I feel like a, 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 a person like me, crazy. from from the hood, you yeah. feel what I'm saying, doing what I do. You know, and, and the only way only, only way I could be doing what I'm doing is with my partner Sierra. She's a she's a, a, a she well Dr. Sierra L. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? She's a um, a licensed therapist. You know what I'm saying for 20 yeah. years. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But I think that we're we're just bridging the gap yeah. with the stigma on behavioral yeah. and mental health. Yeah, you yeah. Feel me? A, lot, a lot of people lot think of mental men don't go and seek the right mental health or whatever. Yeah, but we you don't know. understand the difference between behavioral health and mental health. We Pass. we think that being angry has something to do with mental. Nah, nah, you feel nah. what I'm saying? It doesn't. Just because you might be upset because your father got killed, and you know what I'm saying. But we'll 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 take that as a mental health thing. Yeah. And that's behavioral health. You know what I'm saying? You have yeah, to, it's, you it's have to, crazy you have to that. on that. I was in Coke one time in Cobb County, and it was like, you can get out of here, you just take some anger management. I was like, it ain't, it ain't no problem. I go take some anger management. So just so happened, it's a dude sitting in the courtroom with his wife and all that. Like, yeah, come on down into my little center or whatever, you know. You go through about two, three weeks or whatever, we'll get you on up out of here. I was like, okay, boom. I go in there. He gave me a piece of paper to fill out. This, you know, this one I figured out, you know, need to sit down and talk to somebody. And I advise anybody who having real issues to go sit down and talk to somebody. Because a lot of people don't, you, you wouldn't understand yourself unless you talk to somebody who you didn't know, you know, that's going to be judging you, that's going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff to your mind physically, you know, by abusing you and stuff like that. But I go sit down and I take this piece of paper and it's asking me questions. And I write, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah. See, but no, anger, no, no, no. Anger, anger, anger is something you can control. Yeah, and so. Mental health, mental when, when this guy, when this guy uh, see all these answers or uh, whatever, he called me in the room. He said, uh, I said, man, I'm going to be out of here in about a week. He was like, nah, man, I recommend eight weeks for you. You know, and I'm like, what you mean, eight weeks? And you just said you're going to help me get out. You sitting in the courtroom. You walked me all the way over here. He was like, nah, you don't realize you got a deeper issue. You know, I'm telling, you know, from the thing, and over that eight-week course, I, I decided myself to go seek, you know, therapy myself for my mental health and stuff. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, and, and this worked out great, man. Here, ten years later, you know, it's 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 done wonders for my life. So I do advise anybody, you know, that needs somebody to talk to to go talk to somebody. Man. It's funny that Bro just said what he just said about like you can control anger. Yeah. Because I remember one time I was at Grand Hustle, and I, I walked in. Me and Duval was there. 
And Dro was arguing with this dude. It was, and he was so much more bigger than him. <laughs> he had to be like 6'6 six, six or something. He was like really buffed out and strong. And Dro had a, uh, first time I ever seen a Desert Eagle in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 nigga say, and nigga don't even much flesh me like that part of nigga. Oh no, you the fuck with it. And said so it was just like I was listening to the album in real life. And he had a pearl. He used to drive this pearl avalanche. No, so uh, it was a, a it was, was a Cadillac. Yeah, 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 it was an escort. Thirty inch rims on it. He just Rose put you. Gold. He just put you in the avalanche. Yeah, but, but, that, no, no, I'm sorry. That thing was an escalator and it had some rims on it. I used to go sit like this right here. <laughs> <laughs> the rim was so big. I used to sit and they were rose gold or something. Too. You know, I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I'm that kind of person no more. <laughs> why was you that, that nigga that day? What happened like that day? That nigga said, why, why was you, you that, be like nigga that day? Like, <laughs> that, you, you can control it and you still here talking to me right now. You look the same. When, when drug, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I look the same. I think, I, well, you know what? Like when, when, drug, when, drug, when drugs are involved, and when I say drugs, I mean heavy drugs, when drugs are involved, it, it means just that when they when they charge you with DUI under the influence or something, you feel what I'm saying? Like it kind of takes away from uh, character, integrity, all of that shit go out the window once you're intoxicated. So m you seeing me act like that was me like displaying, you know, myself being under the influence or something because I wasn't raised like that. Yeah. It's just that the drugs that I used to be into, you know what I'm saying? And that and and and, and, and speaking of that, that what that's what led me to go to the rehab. Like so almost three, almost three years ago, rehab. I, want, I went into rehab because I felt like I wanted to break a, cur a generational curse that that's been in my family for a long time. Like, uh, I, I think I got like, I want to say, almost twenty of my relatives died from drugs. You feel what I'm saying? So, and I want to, and, and the reason why I went to the rehab is, is because. I wanted to break that curse, and I wanted to be the be the be the first one that that's still around that that quit drugs when it got help, and you know what I'm saying, clean like, today. That's why I'm like 20, wow. 28 months. Good stuff. Good stuff. 28 months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh. bro. What? When, the day I seen you do that, you inspired me. I wanted to be like you because <laughs> I never got a chance to do that shit in my regular life when people was. You know, making me feel yeah. lesser than. And I took that attitude to New York. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that same attitude, like, nigga, nobody better not fuck with me. Mm -hmm. And then what now? Pull this I didn't have a death that's illegal. What's that? I had a, 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 a revolver. <laughs> in New York, when you, when you, had a, you had a revolver, you in 09, they made in 09, three revolver. months <laughs> after the video that you seen with me getting my name changed, I was in, I had changed to Jack Thriller that night. That night. And three months later, in August the 6th, yeah. I was young Jack Thriller, and I took the spirit of young Dro T.I., young Jeezy, mm. and goddamn Pastor Troy <laughs> up to New York, and I, I was not playing no game yeah. trying to be me, yeah. the new me. And when I got a chance to shoot a nigga and all that shit, Wait, hold oh, up, wait. No, the, hey, oh, that, that Michael Jackson. Don't need to criminate yourself. I didn't hear that. Well, I didn't hear that. Man, this was in 09. He didn't die. He didn't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. he was trying to rob me for a fake chain I had on. Uh. And I was leaving the comedy club the and whatnot. The chain was fake. The chain was nigga. Nigga tried to goddamn flex on me for a, a fake chain I had on. And I'm 28 years old, 20, no, 27 years old and shit. You just, just moved up here and everybody the always was talking about. You know, you ain't gonna stop. stop. Man, and I hope he dead. I think it's I, 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 I hope he dead. So you had a chain on. Yeah. You had a chain on with a charm on it. Yes. Yeah, on the back of the charm, it, it read, this ain't it. This ain't it. What do you say? I had that nigga Harlem shaking while I was shooting the, the fuck out that nigga. Mm. Yeah. You yeah. shot a nigga God. over a fake chain? That's crazy. This ain't good. I didn't look, I, 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 pay, I paid good money for that fake chain. You, pay, you know how so it you is got, when you got I don't chain. know how it is. You, <laughs> hold on, wait, I don't. So you telling me you got got for the chain and he got shot for the chain. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. And what? Because I thought he was gonna kill me. 
And you know, so you know, I'm, I'm leaving the comedy club and whatnot, and then you know, we don't talk the same and blah blah blah. And I'm only three months into staying in New York, and everybody had already hyped me up. Hey, when you go up there, nigga, don't you man, you better not go with there being no bitch and shit, cause you know, it's New Jack Thrillers, it's New Jack City up there and blah blah blah. And all I did was just seeing movies of New York shit. So I thought I had to be a certain type of way when I got there. So you you're, felt like you walk in the jail, you're gonna slap the bigger like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like you, impressionable. You, you, you impressionable. You could see stuff and 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 then you, you feel like you should do it. <laughs> this is the fucked up. For, shit. For, hey, <laughs> hey, it's funny that you should say that. Uh maybe about four months later. It's about so now we're in 2010 and I had became you know, all the way to the 50 Cent now. Everything. Like, you, <laughs> and don't, you don't care. Now I'm, mental, I'm being mentored by 50 Cent and shit, and he telling me that this ain't how shit go. Mm. And that's when I was able to, you know, like, be myself again and realize, oh, so we just, we, this is personas. We, we, we chilling and we entertaining the crowd and whatnot. And, and oh, I don't, if, if, if I don't need to be at places where I feel like I might need to uh, assert myself. Yeah. Mm. And that's what it was, because it's all a mindset at the end of the so day. So you're saying you were acting the whole time. Yeah, the entertainment was taking control of your real life. It was controlling my real life. I, I was paranoid at the same time, artificial and I wasn't hanging around with people. That, that, was, that was artificially unintelligent. Yeah. 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 But, but we all go, go through it, and it didn't take long for me to, you know, snap in and snap out. Yeah, so you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. Because yeah. I was just a comedian when I left. Ben Trill was in your ass, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I put my own hand up my ass <laughs> Master. and what? went up to New York. Yeah, you did? Oh, 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 I don't oh, get oh, ass now. <laughs> no, 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 I'm talking about it. It's, 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 it's just figuratively, figuratively, figuratively. Figuratively. I don't want you to do it figuratively either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, I thought I had to be somebody else. Like, even though, even nothing you know, I did. You might not know some, some, some else I did. <laughs> I used to, I used to. I had to, I had to. It was right there, it was right there. I could not, man, I could, I it could. It was right there. I could. <laughs> Shout out to Bulldogs. But yeah, man, look here. Uh, hey, Bulldogs. Boy, stop! I thought that's what you was talking about. Get your out. I thought that's what you was talking about. Shout out to the Bulldogs. Get on the Pray for Jesus. <laughs> Pray for Jesus. Yeah, Dro yeah. used to wear uh, these. I don't want to be. I don't want you. Wait, wait. I don't want to come right after that. Like that's just no. It's stupid. Shout out to the Bulldogs. Like go a couple of lines. Wait a couple of more lines, bro. Don't put me right up there. Like. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, man. This, this is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was a fan. 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 I was Yeah, so you used to wear these evidence glasses. They were Louis Vuitton glasses. <laughs> And whatnot, and, I, and I, I, I wanted to make enough money to get some evidence glasses and stuff. And I, I don't understand. Like, 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 I use them in a crime, and the cops got them, and then they had them in the evidence. <laughs> oh, Louis Vuitton had a Louis Vuitton had an edition of glasses that were called evidence. Okay. Remember that? No. Oh. <laughs> Man, somebody look that shit up. Look it up, and then tell me what y'all. Hey, bring it to him. Tell me what y'all. Somebody find look up evidence, evidence Louis, Louis Vuitton. Evidence. You talking about they had the gold at the top? Yes. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they had the gold right up here. That, yeah. th th those were millionaires. That's you what talking about they had the little gold at the top, the little circle in the middle. Yeah. Oh. Yes, those were millionaires. What were they? Right. What the name of? Oh. oh. I didn't have them. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I tend to leave no Hey, listen. Jack. I tend to leave no evidence. Jack, hey, Jack. Jack. Now, you you made me a believer. Yeah. Oh, D. You made yeah. me a believer. Yeah. Look at that. Let me see. The bronze. You know how it with the gold at the top? They had a little circle in the middle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I had a pair of them. They were like 60. Yeah. Joe, you know, you got I, so I many. I remember the millionaires. Everybody had them. You got yeah. so many different types of flavors, though, Joe. I thought it was evidence. Yeah. I remember the millionaires. Man, I gotta quit Joe up now, too, man. Joe, you don't want me to be like you. Just say yeah. I don't want you to be like that. We couldn't let 
said with that. <laughs> this is Jack before you, you see came in. You see how short this is? best to throw impression. <laughs> well, you're, 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 off, you're, off, you're off with the, the horse, the blue horse in the, 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 the real horse. You're off, like, a little what bit. What I do wrong? I think, I think the shirt your horse what is what you trying to do. I think the shirt is a what? bit more attractive than, like, the hat. <laughs> the hat looked almost like a Speedo hat. Like, well, I guess it's your head. I don't know. <laughs> But and then the, the horse is blue, so you know if you gonna if you gonna play with it, you gotta hey, play with it. Do you do this to your fans all the time? you getting this from the master? Wait a minute, I'm oh, trying to put oh, you in You oh, you you, you, you image consulting me? No, no, I'm putting you down. Polo shit. I'm putting you down. You he definitely putting me down. Putting you down. Yo, you putting me down? You disrespecting me? No, 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 no. No, and you putting it down and you pick it up. We would call this we would call it intelligent artificial intelligent criticism. Cause you getting it from the master. This dude, yeah, yeah. this dude, I don't yeah, see like this dude that. wear polo so many different type of ways. I'm talking about he invent ways to wear it. Like, mm -hmm. like you it, know what I'm saying? It get confusing. It's too much. He made the sweaters cool. It's it's right it's, it's, right. I knew I didn't know what I was <laughs> doing. I knew I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, the, the reason why I, I feel like I can pull it off because I, I used to be poor. You feel what I'm saying? And like, I'm from from where poor. I came from to dressing like that, it, it was it meant a lot to me to fit in with like. You know, people that I looked up to, like go playing golf and tennis and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because in in the ghetto, there's no golf and tennis and stuff like that. So I felt like, well, I'm gonna dress the part. Even yeah. though I had like a mouthful of gold still, I felt like I was like, I used to say, I felt like a a, a, a Rolls Royce Phantom sitting in the middle of Bankhead Court. You okay. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can yeah. see that the contrast on that is very. Very nice, you know. It's like a, a rose <laughs> growing up out of the concrete. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's a it's a kick to it. And the reason why I I have a problem with that hat is I wouldn't even be able to sleep if that was blue and the other one was brown. You feel me? <laughs> 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 yeah, the horses are different. Yeah, you got My animal wrong. My animal. He said you got the wrong animal type of horses. That, you got the real. <laughs> see now the shirt is is a is a it's a statement because it's well, it's the real color. It's the real life. It's the brown horse with the dude with the clothes on it. You feel what I'm saying? And, it, and it's almost like it's a you're a person with another person on a horse on your shirt in live color. You feel me? The blue font is cool, but I would have did the blue with the blue on the shirt. You feel what I'm saying? See, the shirt I got on my the, I got a bear on my shirt that has on a shirt and a jacket. You know what I'm saying? And he, you know what I'm saying, kicking his feet up and all that. Your clothes got on clothes. My clothes got on clothes. And they match. <laughs> <laughs> Last week I had a sweater on with a bear with a sweater on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Yeah, man. Man, this man can give me a course at Harvard yeah. on polo. I'm trying I, to tell you. I know I'm wrong now. I'm trying to tell you. You're wrong. You, you, you're absolutely wrong. Yes, you're severely wrong. Like, you break Hey, so when I said earlier today, yesterday I was the freshest nigga in the country. Oh, what? You, you said probably that? just in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to come out of time. No, what you said? <laughs> in the country. Mirror like that right he here. Said in the country. Mirror, mirror. Hey, don't, hey, look, you feel? Hey, look. But you know what's crazy about that line? Yeah. One day I, I seriously felt like that, yeah. but I knew nobody was into dressing like that back yeah. then. You feel me? I was yeah. like. Nobody fresher than me. I'm a witness. Not today. I'm a witness. Not today. You I'm a witness. You've been doing this since day I one. I really felt like that. Day one. I have yeah. a question. Yeah. Have Paulo ever reached out to you? Yes. And well, I was up for it, and then I caught like a gun charge and stuff. So I've always been in my own way. Self destruct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I would say that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of opportunities that was given to me that I, you know, that drugs just took away from. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that. It couldn't have happened. It could have happened, but I wasn't available. You know what I mean? And that that went for relationships. Yeah. You feel me? Um, yeah. You know, um, deals with people. You know what I'm saying? Videos. You know what I'm saying? Shows that I miss. You know, I was unavailable for a lot of things. You know, when when the drugs are involved. You know, and especially when you, your ego's somewhere. And, you know what I mean? It, it's just you be all over the place, and then yeah. next thing you know, when you turn around, you're like, well. This guy came in. This guy came in. We're gonna he need to reach back out to Polo now that you got well, everything well, straight. I mean, well, they need to see what you're doing. I, now. I never, I never, it's still wearing. I never really wanted to reach out. Yeah. I just liked it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not no, like I'm I was saying. Like, it's not like I was saying I wanted something from them. Yeah. I, I, I appreciated what it did for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we, I, like back then when I was young, man, we was tricking these hoes in polo clothes. Like, <laughs> life as you can see it. Players only live once. P O L O. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 
I don't ever knew that. Welcome to the club. Out. You know what? You from the South Shore. You from up north. You from the whole ass. We had a whole conversation about New York. New York is like one of the places I got it from. New York is one of the All day I dream about sex. Okay, there you go. Well, you better tell the public kid, Jack. What? All day I dream about sex. That's okay. I did. Ain't really nobody that was before our time. But yesterday, I wasn't the freshest nigga in the country. <laughs> you most certainly were. <laughs> what, what you had on yesterday? <laughs> it depends on what you had on. I thought about having this on so today, yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Damn, nigga, so you know what? Yesterday thoughts was so today dreams. So you mean to tell me you were gonna wear that yesterday? I'm glad, I'm glad Joe was able to put you up on game because man, let me tell, like let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you something, bro. Like nigga be playing with Ralph Lauren. Like I done had some nine thousand dollar outfit some days. Purple you feel label. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On on no cap. You feel what I'm saying? That like, purple label shit pissed me off. Yeah, label. <laughs> it, it, either it's purple label. It can be rugby. You feel me? It's real pieces. It can be double L. It can be double R L. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like, it all depends on what you're wearing. You know what I'm saying? It's some real serious pieces. You feel me? I got a leather coat, man. It looks like it looked like it probably was made back in 1920. You feel what I'm saying? It was 17 racks. You feel what I'm saying? But it's it's just it's just what a, it's, it's it's what you pick. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever you pick, you make sure you pick pieces and not something that everybody. Cause I used to dress off the mannequin. You know what I'm saying? But until I seen. Now you shot dress in like the mannequin. Shot, you know what I'm saying? Shot a dread like me or home might have this or now now I just might grab a shirt and I might grab a shirt in 2023. Yeah. But I might not wear it to 2025 to yeah. and match it up with something else that came out. And then you know it's hard to see somebody line it up like yeah, that. Yeah. You know like, like, like like fire and wine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Age wear. Bring it down. Yeah. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna name, name. I'm not gonna let that nigga make me feel less than, man. <laughs> nah, man, you 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 Ralphie now. You feel me? You Ralphie. You feel I, I, me? I, I, I would listen I'm to I would you listen Ralphie. to I'm, I'm Ralphie. You Ralphie. Hey, y'all, don't do this. Stop playing. You no, Ralphie. Ralphie. I would listen Ralphie. to conventional wisdom, Jack. Conventional I'm wisdom. I'm not gonna lie. He was very happy when he went and changed and put this this Before outfit you came, on. I looked like, up when I seen him in this. He I was so I wish he would have so called me and we could have just chopped it so up. Happy. I would have brought the nigga that had to go with that shirt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I swear to God. Like, no, he got it. I'd have been like, wait a minute. I got you. I got you. Uh, you know what I mean? But Joe, before you he walked in, dope, you. That was he nice. said, he, he, he was taking the other shirt off. He went the other shirt off that he had on. He said, poof. I'm I'm about, I was I was see, see, the, 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 the fact that he didn't critique it like that, you can't be playing like that, bro. Yeah, you, you can't know what I'm saying? You gotta be that shit. That shit got down like that's it's, it's a science to this shit. <laughs> you feel know what I'm saying? I'm coming up playing. Really? Really? Even though it's like that, like the color you got on right now, it ain't gonna come out next year. You can only get certain colors at certain times of year, and then they'll skip it. Like you can't get that color. That's the Easter collection. So they like Jordans or something. You can't get it no more. That's what I'm trying. I would have waited. Yeah, I got to wait. Yeah, he said he was everybody waiting. can't afford to live for today. He said he's gonna wait two years so he can get something to match. He just said. What he's saying is if he couldn't get the hat to match, that. he would have waited until the hat came out to match the yeah. <laughs> shirt. It, good things come to those who wait. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you look good. You look good today, yeah, Jack. I tell you what. You look good, Jack. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. You look good. Take the hat. And just turn it, it to the side and then wear it like like. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you know, scoot it back off the forehead a little bit. No, yeah, you the same way though. I don't know. No, pull, no, 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 pull it back down, pull it back but, down. But, but, but yeah, so, so, so you can take that, so you can, so you can take the attention off of the boot. You feel what I'm saying? So pull it down a little bit more, and then that's it. You, you got, you good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. There you go. There you go. And now, now I'm not looking. I'm throwing that. You throw it. Now you throw it. Now you throw you cleaning this bitch. <laughs> hey, can, hey, can, hey. can I show the lady in this bitch? You can show the lady. Yeah, you can show the lady. Bro. You show the lady, bro. Hey, you hurt my feelings so much. Just. <laughs> They the listen is constructive. Man, you cannot bro. let it hurt your you feeling mean? because tomorrow you're going to dress I, a lot better. Then you'll be able to let somebody else know if they you know in the wrong. You to dress like this? I got well, it's for nothing if it ain't right. Question. Listen, I got one question. Is that supposed to be Michael Jackson? <laughs> 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 this is like, before he died. That nigga look fucked up, man. <laughs> is that before no, he got that, 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 Listen, What man. Michael missing, bro? The, the glove, hey, Dad, the, Dad, it's Dad in here. Listen, the, the glove look like the Michael Michael hammer glove with, like, <laughs> with some glitter on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that one look like a hamburger helper. 
we <laughs> Look at it. Oh my God. Why do he got on the mask? Like his hand got smashed. Because that face don't match. That's COVID. Is it COVID? Yeah. That's no, the excuse that's, we go with. No, he got that Michael Jackson. Jackson. No, Michael Jackson no, always no, wore that. He's always wearing that. That's the COVID mask. That's the COVID mask. His hair was a little bit better than that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 can we get a curl? I think we got to put that. Hey, can we get a curl? We got to put it in the ponytail. That look like Michael Jackson. That hair was like Danny Glover hair. That hair look like Danny Glover hair. That look like Danny Glover hair. That look like Milster. Milster is Danny Glover. It's a break time to the you. Me off. Nah, yeah, the jacket, I know the jacket. Nah, the jacket is throwing Michael Jackson is Jack Idol, and that Michael Jackson look good, Dro. No, he doesn't. That no, Michael don't. Jackson look good. It don't. Jack, um, I like Michael Jack. I, he I coronavirus, know. Michael. <laughs> he coronavirus, Michael. He got, he got really? the Corona Mike. <laughs> Corona Mike. Corona Mike. It's Corona Mike, bro. <laughs> You ain't fucking with Corona Mike, bro. No, that no, Corona Mike. No. <laughs> okay, get Corona Mike. Get, get what I need to do for Mike. I think you just need to. Um, Maybe you, you got the you wrong gotta shirt the, on. You got to get the hand and fix that the, uh, the hamburger helper hand. <laughs> get the glove right. Yeah. Hey, Thad, we got to get the glove right. <clears throat> get the glove right, and his weave kind of probably needs straightening. You need a perm. The glove look like, <laughs> I was about to say, the glove look like hat, what you used to play on my mom. I get the hat, but I think the smooth criminal hat was a little bit cooler <laughs> than that. That's kind of like, one of the deacons in the church when he, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> after, they rain, after they rain on it, you know what I'm saying? Nice and like this, I wish rain. Uh, and okay. he's also bad for you. <laughs> Where's his shoes? I don't know what's happening. This is so much He ain't got no pin loves on. No, he's bad for you. I ain't know who bad for you, Jack. I don't think he can have shoes. I, I thought he has a pin loves on. Has- I guess he said you can't see his feet from here, so. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that, 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 I didn't even know he ain't had no shoes on. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna review this video. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, and I've been singing next to this nigga. I've been singing next to this nigga and everything. He, man. Look, I'm looking over there, Michael Jackson doing his toe like this. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I can't wait till I get out there. Hey. <laughs> hey, man, this, hey, yo, this nigga T Rex told me that, I, that we were killing it. Yeah, yeah. T Rex ain't saying nothing. I, like, I, like, I, like, I, I think shit. you could put a hair in the ponytail. Like, that's the ponytail Mike with that coat on and stuff. Like, it, kinda, it looked like it, though. Oh, I ain't never seen Mike with a hat on like that. It look, he got a Jane Brown, uh, the, like a Beverly 9 on the side. Like, he'd use a Beverly 9, and it went Jane Brown on this side. And then that's how it looked like he got a fight. Like, that, that, early early morning, morning, that early morning Man, going to, going to the CVN Mike. Right got now. you. Hey, you. You know we got a, uh, 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 a Billie Jean jacket for him also. With this uh, this look, and um, I, I was thinking myself to get the Billie Jean jacket with a Jerry curl wig and whatnot, and uh, you know, the take old, it to the old mic. See, that's the new mic. Yeah, yeah. yeah See, yeah. that's the problem with modern mic. Yeah, or modern <laughs> period. You know, I think that we should go like with my, more classic. Like the skin tone is pretty much the modern mic. <laughs> his hand looked like that color, and his neck was that color. So I get it. Yeah, glove ain't shit though, right? Now the glove kind of looked like. Definitely hamburger well, you helper. Well, you know when your mom used to get the perm box and that little plastic glove and you used to put yeah. it on your hand and play in it? That yeah. would have looked like You didn't even say that early. You act like I was killing <laughs> I, I, I never noticed it until he just pointed it out. And then when I looked and I'm like, dang, that do look like that. I didn't. I just, wasn't even looking at Mike. Man, you know what? We got to play that game that we played with the cards, you know, with, uh, with, with uh, Erica. Yeah, we definitely we have to do play it. That it's game called a situation ship. Yeah, the situation oh, yeah, ship. Yeah, the si- situation ship. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah. B- B- Bortney, she uh, definitely has some questions and stuff. Yeah. And then we, uh, oh, my girl, Tonya, Tonya from uh, um, New York, she um, came up with this card game. And it's, uh, it's about speed dating and, Ooh. you know, getting people to really connect and uh, um, on a whole nother level mm. to make uh, connections. So, so speed dating, I, I'm cool with that. But we weren't gonna hook you up. We weren't gonna hook you up. No, we just no, want to hear your views on things. We, we just want some answers to some questions. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more of a sport fucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so going. That's fun. I'm more of a sport. <laughs> Yo, bro. So with that being said, uh, I like speed dating. You know, one of our one of the great friends to the show. Uh, his name is Joe DeBreeze. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Yeah, yeah. Joe DeBreeze got this thing the way you can control women with it with with the dick. 
That's not. I don't know what the hell is happening. Like control women, like what? Well, you like give them good day and then you get them to do whatever you want them to do. It's called digmatize. When you digmatize. I don't think he the only one in the world that feel like that. So I'm. I we kind of uncomfortable with you know. Mm. How do you I, me myself someone? personally? How does that happen? Just Why do you want that to happen? <laughs> Just, just being able to, you Y'all know. want bitches to bust y'all car windows out and being outside yes. the house bleaching yes. your clothes and all that. That's what you want? I mean, I don't kidnapped. want it, but, you know. <laughs> well, let me, let me, I like, 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 I like a girl with spunk. You feel me? I don't like boring relationships. If I come out the house and see my window busted, I'm fine with that. Hey, and bro, before you, before you go on. I should have left the door open. Can I tell you, can I tell you something else I had? Observe from you that I had adopted in my own life. What? I love it. All right. Uh, one of the first dopest memories that I have of young Dro. Man, it's Dro with this big booty, fine ass motherfucker. She turn around, and it's Fantasia. Mm. And I said to myself. I need to become somebody. I want to R and B. You need to. Jesus, Jack. <laughs> but let me tell you She's what happened. Lady. After that. She's just like lady. the outfit. Just yeah. like the outfit. Yeah. I went in and I dated three R and B singers that was on that level mm. because yeah. I was influenced by that. And you that called situation. them fine booty bitches too instead of a nice I'm, I'm, young I'm, I'm, lady. I'm, she is a nice lady. No, no, she's a beautiful woman. She is not in that category. You I would, I would definitely step up and yeah. say well, that. Well, he for said her. it till she turned around. Yeah, until yeah, when she turned around, I was like, "Ho, oh, whoa, wow, you is you." Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I take that. And, uh, a lot of people don't even like you don't understand how to even get with somebody on that level. Mm. Yeah. Be yourself. Of course, you was already doing your thing. Yeah. Be yourself ain't gonna be. That ain't gonna get. Bro, would you say? Would you tell Fabo that? No, you gotta be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Is that, that's it. I mean, you gotta be incredible. I didn't say. Because who are you? Know, you could that, be anybody. I mean, I mean, you have to just right. I mean, you just be yourself. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't feel like because I was a rapper, she got with me. If you I wasn't think, young bro, nice looking guy, you know, I don't think you know what I mean. You're gorgeous, man. Listen. Wait, pause. What? what? Uh, no, I'm just, no, so I'm not, I understand exactly what he's saying. It just keeps happening. <laughs> so last week we was at Bulldogs, and then and then Joe came in. No, that, that was over then, 10 years ago. I rolled past it, oh, but okay. I understood the concept of what was going on in there. And then now he's gorgeous. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying that he, he believes in himself, and I feel that way, because, you know, yesterday I was the freshest <laughs> nigga in the country. Yeah, let it go, Jack. Okay. Let it go, let it go. But yeah, I wanted to do the same thing and have that mindset. Okay. <laughs> how do you put yourself inside that position? And we have this these card game called a situation ship. How do you, how do I put myself inside the position to be to a approach? Fly guy? <laughs> I don't well, I, I'm mostly I'm very shy, so I don't really approach women. You feel I me? Mean? I can't tell you I walked up to her and said, Hey, what's happening? Because I ain't that ain't my style. You feel what I'm saying? Like, but I do handle my business once I'm approached. You're gorgeous. You feel me? But I'm t I'm pretty shy, you know what I'm saying? I ain't too tough trying to come off on no chick. If we now we start looking at each other and eyeing each other and we can talk through like I sight. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll be looking at it like so so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna do it for you. But I'm gonna say it, but I'm gonna use my eyes. I'm so I'm standing right there, I'm looking at her, I'm like this ain't gonna help. I'm like, what's up? She looking at me, she's talking about, what's up? I'm like, shit, what you doing? And then she looking back at me, she was like, shit, I don't know. I'm like, shit, you, you gonna walk over here? And then she was like, she might be like, you want me to walk over there to you? I'm like, no, I want you to walk over here to me. And then and then she was like, I ain't walking over there. I was like, well, shit, we ain't talking. <laughs> and then she was like, okay, okay. I was like, all right, come on. <laughs> and then the next thing you know, we started talking. That's how it worked. Yo, I hate y'all. And hey, y'all got together. Man, I, I tried that. I mean, not not that, not not that, not that particular thing, not that particular girl. Never, it's that's just yeah. how I. That's I mostly just... how I like. If I'm somewhere, like especially if I'm out or something, if I'm at a club or something, I'm most definitely yeah, not table. Do your walking shit. up to the room. My best. I, first of all, I hate rejection. I hate rejection. I, I can't deal with somebody saying, they crazy, fuck me. I don't want to talk to you. I, I can't deal with that. I don't, I don't want to go through that. You ain't going to disrespect yeah. it though, right? No. Yeah, I got did like that one time. You ain't disrespect it. No, though. girl just came home from work one day. Like, man, I, you know, I can get this stuff anywhere. Uh, Shada, you good and all, but you can get your little speakers and go on. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you just going to put me out like that? 
But you had already had it. You 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 had the speakers at her house. She was like, the dick good and all, bro, but you got to get, I, I need to pay the rent. Like, <laughs> I was stealing cars and stuff. I just couldn't bring home enough silverware. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the radio, them, the Alpine radio, JVC radio, they just went selling like they was supposed to. <laughs> you know? I think the last <laughs> car I hit up before she said that I had got a whole bunch of four by nines out somebody door. She was like, nah, you need some tens or something. This ain't, just ain't going to work. I didn't know what it was, man. I thought we were vibing. Listen, you know what I heard? <laughs> they, I heard that um, it was it was they picked like 15 people from like Atlanta to do um, what do they call it? Um, like a tour through the White House. Like one mm. person was from the, from the Bluff, and I think they said that's where the cocaine came from. But stop. They did. They was like, they was like somebody from Atlanta did like a tour. They were like, they said Atlanta people went through a tour in the White House. You know, everybody was showing like, they were showing them the rooms, and somebody was from the bluff and that. They was like, well, that's what a cocaine. No, the cocaine been in there. That's why body keep falling out. But I mean. Hold up, what? You think cocaine been in the warehouse? I think it came from one of the tourist people too, and I totally agree with Drove that it had to be somebody from the bluff. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Man, hold on, wait a minute, we're getting out of control. Drove, we gotta pivot real quick, cause Drove is something else where else with his life. Hey! Oh yo, my God! Legend has it. He won't fall no wait, more. Wait, that y'all y'all used to be roommates, man. Oh and yeah, I, I was wild back Fable then. Was crazy. I was shot. The, I was fresh. Y'all lived this. together. Joy, I told Fabo, y'all should have did a movie be back then. I just got out of jail. Drove a well established. We, 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 I had to get it right. We um, <laughs> Raheem, I think Raheem used to give us like Raheem the Dream. Raheem the Dream is a cool cat. Yeah, Raheem. Shout I, out to Raheem, Raheem the Dream, man. I, I I think I started out with Raheem like on some real deal doing show like I do a lot of shows now but I, I've yeah. done so many shows in my life bro and and it started with Raheem man and you know what I'm saying I, I want to just shed light on this situation because yeah they both used to be yeah you hear me? You know what I'm saying? I keep wild. telling that they would not nobody so want to leave we, we stay we stay together bro Nobody when I got to the spot, right, we had our own rooms. It was a nice little, they had just built these little spots. I had my girl, I, had, I was with my girlfriend, Michelle. I had did this song by her name in it and Michelle, stuff like that. I remember me and Michelle. Yeah, that you shit feel what I'm saying? And, uh, so when I got to the crib, <laughs> Fable was so wild. I, I I I was there for one day and I never came back. <laughs> we was at the swimming pool. We was at the swimming pool. We went swimming. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you know, when you got two West Side niggas. You know, and, and you know. I got I got I got every, I got weed and everything on camera. Yeah, he coming. I got I got a pile of weed on camera. Like he's like, what the hell? This is when, when, when I got there. <laughs> was just wilding out. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just being. You my gotta room. think I had Jack got out, Jack. I, I wanted to experience everything. Yes, he was, I was he having was, fun. He was, he was unorthodox. He was just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, baby, boy, he just everywhere. So goddamn. So guess what I was saying though? See, but I, I you know, I, I had hold him. I was staying with, I was staying with my bitch. You feel me? So I was like, you know, I ain't got to be in a car. I'm having AC. You know what I'm saying? Land up cooling. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, y'all just had it. Come, I'm having, I'm having AC. Yeah, and, I, and I got, and I got everybody from the hood over there. I got, I know all the new neighbors. He coming. There's another neighbor. I'll be like, who didn't he? He stayed in that boat. I know him. Come on in and introduce yeah, yourself. He dated, he dated this tall ass woman. I think her name was like six nine. Like, this is real. Like, this is real. This lady is huge. I was like, you know what? This is not for me now. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we used to man. Like, she was a model. We used to have. <laughs> no, I think her name was Great Dane. <laughs> Great oh my God! Great Dane is crazy. Now Google Great Dane. You understand? Yo, yo. So, like, I when, when I'm even hearing the concept of Young Dro and Fabo staying in the same place, man, we made some great. How we made, high? We made some Atlanta version because we were coming, we were, we came from a spot that was just totally being ignored. Like nobody you wasn't thinking about us or nothing. And when Tilt Bus stopped. It just it shed the light on our spot. We felt like we could be somebody. We felt like you know, then they know who we is, and so we were the next niggas in line from all the block. Like I was actually and, on the radio before. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I was at so I, I was on the radio before, before you, Tilt too. You heard of Tilt record? I was already on the radio. Yeah, I was on the radio. Both of y'all was on the radio, but I ended up back on the block though. Yeah, I had a hit called Yes Sir. Yeah, yeah. and I had, Yes Sir came out yeah. before that. I had and I, I was on the treadmill. Yes Sir today. Yeah, I had a. Uh, Almost fell out. I was on the song with Drum and Pastor <laughs> Troy called It's on the Map. Like we both had hits. Before that, it's that's you. That was me, Atlanta police. I was telling my when story. When you DSGB, got out of jail. Like, yeah, yeah. You, you, you was in DSGB? No, Pastor Troy was just a cool nigga. He came and jumped on the song. Like Pastor Troy been cool like that. He yeah, came and jumped on the song. Like I ain't know. Him. Yeah, that was the weird part. I ain't know. Him. I ain't know. Him. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but drama. <laughs> Look, listen, but Drama wasn't, he wasn't, a, he wasn't a better rapper than Fabo, though. You yeah, know what I, I just didn't know him. But the nigga went gold, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He went the platinum. Nigga, he went he platinum eventually gold, went platinum. Shit, you feel know what I'm saying? But he wasn't a better artist than Fabo, but he, I, they used to have... There's a lot of niggas not a better artist than Fabo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we know that, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, Fabo I saw, was in 2023. I, I 10 million. He's 2023. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did. And I wrote and produced did everything. Go, did you go with Killer Mike to the show? Though? Yeah, yeah, that shit was yeah, dope, was man. Like, Shout out to Killer yeah, Mike, man. Y'all go get the new album, Mike. Go, go oh. check out the Something for the Junkies, one of the hottest songs in the world right now. Yeah. Killer Mike yeah, got the hottest yeah, album yeah. in the world. Killer Killer Mike vouched for me when I first got into rap. Game. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was big for me. Yeah. Are y'all surprised about each other's success? Nah. Nah, he been he been he been the best rapper alive. Like he been the best rapper alive. Like, like I learned from him. Just every day, how diligent he was. He had pads, notebook pads. Where I just got out of prison, and I'm not thinking about it, right. Like he already got his life wrote, like ready to go. This is ready. Like he already know what he wanted, what he was gonna do. Like he already had a plan, and that that influenced me. I started working harder, you know, doing my thing or Because he got to think that he went on and got a deal, and when I'm still a knuckhead, I still hadn't figured it out yet. I ended up back in the street for like four more years. He on the radio going crazy and everything or whatever, still, you know, influencing a nigga. I see him every day in the hood, he pull up, he in the truck, he in the car, he jumping out of everything or whatever, and it, it, it just motivated me or uh, whatever. And he always showed the same love, always with the same dude. If, you know, if he had it shirt off his back, you can get it. Like, he always been the same person. I felt, yeah, the same, the same thing. Like, when, 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 when Fabo did make it, I was like, I was just waiting on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't surprising. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, about time, guys. I know, you know, he's he's a good artist. You feel what I'm saying? And, and it ain't, I don't want to say rapper. I want to just say musician. Yeah. Because his, his, his voice is like an instrument. You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%. he can sing, he can rap, he can dance. He, you know what I'm saying? Well, not funny. You know what I'm saying? So, but I, when yeah. I did see yeah. him, when I did see, did see him, well, I remember, I remember when, like, Spaceships was a song. But the nigga literally was turned into an alien. Like the nigga was out of here. Like <laughs> baby used to wear doctor coats and yeah. fucking yeah. like and used to come and it was all over. You didn't even <laughs> nobody really, went doing you it, bro. Like, nobody you know, went doing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it was it was. Un, and it was I different. really did see spaceships on Bankhead. I don't know why people be thinking I be playing now. They ain't showing up every I'm other not, day. Everybody hey, can, I, can, I, can, I tell, can I tell a story? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, this nigga is Please. super real. Like, listen, bro. We in Soho one day, bro. Like, listen, I'm like, somebody trying to rob me. So I called, like, the whole city over there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, like, I got everybody in Atlanta over there. Uh, Fabo got, like, um, he got, like, he got all his money on. I think he had, like, thousands and thousands of dollars on it. I got a lot of money on me. We out here talking cash money shit. He's saying I'm on tour, blah, 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 but he's eating like 10 piece. Like, no, I think they eat like 20 piece. Yeah. So we talking and talking and talking and the, he, I think somehow the chicken fell on the ground. <laughs> This nigga Fabo was eating, he, he, he continued to eat his food when he ate the crowd. I'm talking about having the perfect conversation. Yeah, my nigga got down the shit and got down the look. And I don't give a fuck. Nigga was like, Sean, he was like, no, I'm a real nigga, man. You did. You did. The boy ate the whole entire piece, 10 piece, off, it, like, it, it was gone. Oh, God. On the ground? Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. On some street shit, though, you know, yeah. I, but uh, I totally got it. Because, you, 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 no, bro, you know what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, bro. When I, when I first got to Grand Hustle, right, we was in a hotel room. R.P. for lunch. Rest in peace for lunch. Yeah. Uh, uh, we had ordered Subway, right? And we had all these Subways in there, right? Yeah. So a Subway fell on the ground. 
and coming from where I camp come from, yeah. and how poor we was, yeah. what, yeah. how we never yeah. let nothing go. Yeah. When it hit the ground, I picked it up, and niggas were like, "What?" I was like, "What?" Yeah, it ain't even yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Man, no, I didn't take it from it. I, this, this, no, that was I like a 10 second like, room, like growing up in the hood. It was just, it was just how where I came from, like. I work with shit that's fucked up. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I take shit that's fucked up and, and I'm like, well, you know what? I'm gonna get the best out of yeah, this. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it ain't like I'm if a nasty person. Something the world, you just tear that part off. Like, <laughs> and it's just, it, it just showed me how I speak. But at the, at the time, it was a statement. I don't even think nobody yeah. even I, understood I what he did. It was, my, did. It's, it was my demeanor, like, to keep going. Like, I, when people ask me, what, what do you do to rap? You know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I, I was like, I hear all these dudes talking noise when you come out, be like, oh, these they can't rap, these they can't do this or whatever. I was like, it ain't like that. It's just I don't want to keep eating ketchup sandwiches. Like, yeah, see, but the nigga had like 50 grand on it. <laughs> Clearly could have bought something else to eat. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but it was just the fact that nigga, I'm not, I, I was like the food favorite. Like, nigga, I'm eating my food. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Too much of a truth. And, to and, 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 and everybody was like, my favorite crazy is more. Oh, God. I'm like, what? And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, y'all don't know the half. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is right here ain't even only <laughs> Hey, bro, yeah, you, yo, bro, you just answered my last question. Okay, Fabo, you appreciate everything, and Dro, and mine was like, how are you so detailed when you rap? If you notice everything, so in a whole nother way, you appreciate everything. Yeah, Down yeah, to yeah. describing it. Bro, yeah. oh, let me right, tell y'all, he been like this. Bro, we used to be freestyling. I'd be like, what is an Oxford colored disc? Like, he would name some shit while we freestyle. Gotta make me stop and be like, I gotta come harder than that. Like, <laughs> like I'm here describe some shit, nigga. I got the paint flip, we route, we route the people. Like, you had this shit way back then. A regular free by class. But when you listen to it, it makes sense. <laughs> How he do it? My bro, cousin I, over there, that shit is magician. Over there, bro. He used to make us do it. Like, he'll come, we'll be on Scoon Porch. Yeah. Magician. Happen to get each other. Fable will come up. I'll be rapping. But my cousin would be outside on, like, we was in Elther Ridge. We'd be in Elther Ridge. You feel what I'm saying? Or might be in Bankhead. Bankhead wherever, right, wherever, yeah. wherever we be. Either Clown. Bankhead Course or Elther Ridge. You know what I'm saying? What that other nigga said we owe him? Whoever that nigga is talking about, we owe him. He owe us. I, don't, I ain't going to say the nigga name. But you tell that nigga he owe us. He took us somewhere we ain't had no business. And that nigga got them talking about we owe him. Nigga, you took us to the wrong place first, nigga. We made our own I shit mean, after that. that nigga, my, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. Nigga. That's my cousin, Scoon. Like, um, that's the reason, like, why I uh, wanted to rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? That my cousin right there was Sarah. that was that was the first dope boy I ever seen. Like, you know, grill, yeah, got that old school car, gold D's, Vogue, Big Bank Road, bomb full of guys. Man, he was kicking that pimp shit you know what way back then. Like, like back then, but at, at, but at the same time he was an excellent rapper. You know what I'm saying? And I remember I remember I wanted to be like Tupac and I used to come and I was saying and I was saying uh I used to run around saying the, I gotta get mine, Ryan. I gotta get mine. You gotta get, get yours. And I used to, and I used to be rapping Tupac part. And then he was like, man, somebody was like, well, you should rap. And then my cousin was like, go ahead. And you know, I wanted to try it because my cousin could want to, you know, was doing it. And then when I wrote it down and I sounded like Pop too much, he was like, nah, it don't sound like Pop like that. Yeah. Go back and try something, you know, sound like yourself. And that's when I found the drill sound, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I wanted to actually be like Big Cuz. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Hey, cuz. Yeah, cuz had that recipe <laughs> back then. He had, he had that recipe way back then. He had the recipe. They like, I ain't even come for all this. Tell us how you, you helped Dro be Dro and inspired that. Why, how, did, why, how did you see this? He just was being he himself. <laughs> I just gave him a little motivation. Yeah, you know, that's how I got noticed. I, I was on his set at Bankhead, at the Bounce on Bankhead. I was on his set rapping. He, he was like, well, I got, um, it was Talented Wednesdays. He was like, I got this. He was like, they, it, it's a show. Me and um, who, who what the boy name from Bankhead? Was that P.I.? Uh, was it P.I.? Nah, uh, you know them was out there. You know, they, you know every, they, they had an actual actual show up there. Oh, and so, oh. Oh, you talking about the little corn, corn, man, dancing corn. Yeah, corn. Yeah, yeah man. I was going to say the other nigga name, though. Yeah, who? The other one that you just said. I was going to say his name. No. Yeah. No, don't say his name. Wow, what happened? Oh, no. Nah. Stuff ain't happening. No, nah, they just he just took her to the wrong place. 
You yeah. know? <laughs> it ended up being, we made it, cause we niggas. Like, we, when we get somewhere, we just hustlers. Like, we turned our situation into something great. Mm -hmm. But uh, nigga hustling out for us, and then, what, man? What, yeah. stop! We we went through a lot of we went through a lot. <laughs> it took of, a lot to get to where we at right now. Right. And in the beginning, it was rough because you had a lot of established people around that felt like they knew how to get it done, and and we none of us knew how to get it done. It just took hard work and grit. Hey, if you are you 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 knew what you was doing, you was doing it at the time and whatnot, and you he saw what he saw in you, and he was inspired from that and whatnot, and you giving it back to him and able to you know cultivate that. Like, can you, this is found on it. Tell us what, what he told me. How drove a come from? He just was normal. I already was out in, in the street. I, I used to be with other artists, like MC Breed, you know what I'm saying? That was my yeah. partner. I used to be with them folks. So when I heard him, it was automatic. Oh, but I already heard he had the phone. Did, did the scene yeah. as well. Yeah. And then I had got a call from uh, one of my partners. He told me he was getting that. And we just bought in each Yeah, we bought the teacher. Each other. I just That's moved over there, yeah. Over, over my partner house. It hit part and me and the man be out there rapping at 3 o'clock in the morning, man. Yeah, like, they're right here just be gone. Yeah, bro. We gone. just be going. And going. he always got a new song. See, that's another thing that he he really, you know, brought to the table. When he come up, he ain't going to rap just a verse or something. He always got the whole song. He got the hook. He got everything. See, it's going to go like this. Mm, he got the beat, everything already in the head. So, yeah, you know, that shit influenced a nigga, man. You know, somebody who really want it. Yeah, we for Bankhead, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? We for Bankhead quick, you know what I'm saying? Brick, you know what I'm saying? And it just, I think that being from such a hard place like coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was really rough, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And to, and to make it out of there and, and be able to talk about it and be one of the biggest on Bankhead. We like, brought up out of that right after Lil Log like got killed, it's though. A, it's, a, it's, like, a, it's a lot of stars come from yeah. Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't saying this because he my friend, but I think that my partner is one of, was, was one of the biggest stars on the planet at one time. You feel what I'm saying? Still to me to this day, like for star power, you have to really go to beat tip on some shit like that. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Star power. Yeah. On some TV, on some movies and some TV. You know, it's yeah. a lot of rap yeah. shit, but this yeah. is bank here shit that we, we, we came up with. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And I feel like we, the West Side, best side, you feel what I mean? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't Pat. Driving no solid on no nigga's side, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't saying that because Fable right yeah. here, and we from the west side. I'm just saying, like, if you want to do your homework on it, Pat. see a nigga that, that's in movies and, you know what I'm saying, on TV, re, you know. It ain't been no on, bigger, on yeah. It ain't been no bigger star than that. That's some real bank hit west side shit, yeah. and I'm glad to be a part of I'm glad to help put the, brick, the bricks together on a, a record label and build an empire with a yeah. person like that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Alumni. With my homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tip. Yeah, oh. shout out to Tip, man. That is my brother. I ain't here. He was at the Killer Mike thing the other night, right? And I called him in the back. I had to tell him the story. You know, I was like, man, you know, screw, screw you. Remember that nigga performed at the warehouse? And all of us went up there and broke into the doors, right? Bun the door, we came back. That was my first concert ever, though. We know went up there, boy, that was like, Tilt performing up there at the warehouse. Like, that close. We can go there. I ain't never been to the club <laughs> like that. Man, we burn with that thing, Tilt on stage. Oh, I'm gonna hit the floor, I'm gonna hit the floor, I'm gonna hit the nine. And then you hit the time, I'm gonna hit the time. I'm to my bro, right now, we standing back there looking at him. I'm back there like, you're like, we nobody, but we from bank here, like, he representing us. You feel me? That shit had a nigga so motivated when we left there, like, my mindset was like, man, I gotta make a song, we gotta make it. Boom, I remember I would have bought the little beat machine and everything, you'd be sitting on my porch, you come by a sat, nigga, you had to listen to my track. You come by a sat, you had to listen to my track. Listen to it, buddy, listen to it. Listen to this listen. track, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, hey, freeze me. I say that, I listen to that every morning. Okay. When you say that, and this, this is the last, last thing, <laughs> freeze me. What do you mean when you say freeze me? Because I know what I mean when I say it. <laughs> okay. When I hear. All right, cool. Nigga might walk up. Nigga might say, cheers, bro. That outfit you got on ain't Fred, bro. And that car you riding in ain't. You're like, hold on, partner. Free me with all that. You feel what I'm saying? Free with all that. You know what I'm saying? You got to free. So if you so if you in motion with the bullshit, I want you to. You feel what I'm saying? You What's free, up? Free. You ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Here Free me with all that, huh? You know what I'm saying? Hold that mean like hold, hold that, hold, hold what you got going on, buddy. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we ain't fucking around like that. You know hey, man, listen, yo, Drogman, thank you for coming to my show, man. And yes, yo, sir. Fabo, thank you.
Yo, thank you, everybody. Hey, yo. <laughs> This has been one of the best episodes of my yeah, life. Man, man. I'm a really big to be fan. Of Whoever keep putting out them top 50 lists, you got Joel and Andre 3000. Crazy. That, they right there together, bro. Like, did everybody else come after that? Like, I'm trying to tell you, bro. I don't care what y'all say. If not, you need to go back and listen to everything all over again and draw the same conclusion Today, that I Today, you the freshest nigga in the country. Oh, God. For real. For real. 100%. Jack, he fresher than you. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Yesterday, I really was. Fuck that way he told me. <laughs> and, and Michael Jackson, he's still fresh like a motherfucker, man. Hey, new Jack Thriller City, man. Hey, man, thank you, Young Drew episode. Oh. This was a banger. Oh. Hey, jackthriller.com. T Rex, take a salad, take some picture. Let go. Let's hey. go. Westside, Westside, Westside. Thank you. Where I'm from. Everything. Y'all be. Good shit, man. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Thriller, Jack Thriller, Jack Thriller, and Fable.